unicorns! So, my name is Natalie, and just in case you don't know me, uh, I already said my name, so... <laughs> um, so I've been on YouTube since 2014, summer 2014. However, I quit that channel because it just wasn't really, like, dedicated to anything specific, and I wanted to start from scratch. So, this is my brand new channel. It's called Cafecito y Pan Dulce, which is Spanish for coffee and sweet bread, technically, but it's basically like sweet bread is like a dessert, like eating like sweet bread, like dipping it in your coffee and eating it, you know? But anyways, um, so just to give a quick little intro to my channel, my channel's basically going to be coffee talks, but where I show you guys different things from like, it could be anything from like vlogs or like uh, what I'm gonna do today, so seasonal favorites or monthly favorites or just like makeup, whatever. It could be anything. Um, and so today I am going to talk about my winter favorites or monthly favorites, current favorites, there's a whole bunch of different names for it out there. Uh, these are things that I find very essential to the winter season and also things that I've just been currently loving and I want you guys to know about it. So I will leave everything linked down below that I can find. If not, then I will leave like similar things or just the names of it. Like maybe you can find it in store and not online. Alright, so without further ado, go ahead and grab your coffee or your tea, your choice of drink and let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go ahead and start with my favorite candles for the winter season. These are all from Bath & Body Works just because they have a great selection and I really like the smells that they have, I guess. And I've never tried different candles. Or at least I have, but like they don't smell as strong. So the first one I want to talk about is by far one of my absolute favorites. I like fell in love with it when... I, so I didn't even... Yeah, the, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> hot cocoa and cream. And it literally smells like hot chocolate. Like that's all that it entails is that it smells like hot chocolate and I love it, love it, love it because hot chocolate is definitely one of my favorite drinks that is only for the winter season. So if I can like relax and read like or do homework or study with this candle on, love it. Perfect. Totally recommend that you buy it. But wait for the sale. Don't buy it at regular price. And then I have this one that I found this year, and it's called But First Coffee, and it smells like espresso. Ah, oh, it's so good. So this one smells just like coffee. Like, I have a friend, Sarai, if you're watching, um, that likes the smell of coffee but doesn't like to drink coffee. So if you like the smell of coffee but don't like to drink coffee, then this is the candle for you. Or if you just love coffee at all times but you know that it's bad for you to drink it all day, every day, then get this candle. Then the last one I have is a salted caramel one, and I just have the little mini one of this one. And it just smells like dessert. And... It just smells really sweet. So if you like like sweet smelling candles, then I definitely recommend this one. So now for something that's a little bit kind of miscellaneous, but I really wanted to talk about it since this is a coffee talk video after all. This is the Coffee Mate Almond Milk Hazelnut Creamer. And I try to stay dairy free, so no like real milk or cheese or anything like that but this one is made out of almond milk and the hazelnut for some reason like during the winter I just really like my coffee to be flavored instead of being like just black coffee so I love this one it's by far my favorite one and I haven't been able to stop drinking my coffee with this creamer so I totally recommend it I just bought it at Target but I'm sure you could find it at different places too so now moving on to the skincare or I have a few little skincare things to mention this is my Crave Salvation oil serum and this one it yeah it has a marijuana leaf on it <laughs> so it might seem like it's like bad but I promise it's not. They're just like, you like won't get like the side effects that you get 
from marijuana from this like putting it on your face but it's really really good for your face so I've struggled a lot with like acne and this has been helping me a lot so I just apply it after I wash my face and I apply it in the at night and in the morning so it's been helping me a lot it also moisturizes and it has a lot of antibacterial properties and basically the whole like logic behind it is that our skin actually has like CBD receptors in it and so that if you infuse your um, skincare with CBD products then it helps it like it's kind of like rejuvenating it but I will do a full review on this and then another product that I have from this company uh, probably later on so look out for that just to give you a little more detail on that and then I also have my shea butter lotion. So I have this shea butter lotion that I love to use all year long but especially for the winter because my skin gets really really dry so I live in Michigan and Michigan gets like actual like really really dry during the winter so I just really like this lotion and it's actually like you make it at home I found a recipe online so I will leave the recipe for it linked down below and yeah, very moisturizing. So now, moving on to my favorites for clothes. I have a ton of stuff. Okay, so the first thing is this sweater that I have on. It's super, super soft. It feels like a teddy bear, and people really like to touch it when I'm wearing it. <laughs> it's from Forever 21, and I believe it was $20, so it wasn't too, too, like, crazy price. Um... And it has a hood, too, that keeps you really, really warm. So the inside is, like, this material, so it's not, like, the fuzzy material, but it's still super, super warm. Like, I'm literally sweating in it right now, but I love it so much. And then the second thing is these pair of boots. I bought these mm, probably, like, three years ago, four years ago, my freshman year of college. And th these are Sperry's duck boots, I think that's... I they have, like, a different name. Oh, waterproof rubber boots. So, yeah. And the, these are just really great for the winter, especially, like, if you are at college and you're walking around your entire campus and you don't want to slip and fall and embarrass yourself in front of all your other people, like, all the other people around you. These have, like, this, this nice grippy material at the bottom. So, it, they're really nice to, like, so that you don't fall. And they keep you really, really warm, too. They're pretty insulated on the inside. Even your toes stay warm and plus since they're like so big you can wear like fluffy socks with them so I just really like these so I totally recommend these and I think they have different styles and different colors of them too okay so the next two things I'm going to talk about are coats and it's winter so you want to have coats in your closet but I will actually do a uh, my coat collection video very very soon so you can stay tuned for that one too so I won't talk about all my coats but these are just two new ones that I added to my collection that I've been really really loving so the first one is this one I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on there so it's very very thin not thick at all but it it's very like insulated with like the fluffy stuff you know the, like the fancy coats but this coat is actually just from Costco and it was $20 I believe the brand I have no idea sorry <laughs> but you can buy it at Costco it's not expensive at all and it's supposed to keep you warm up to 32 degrees and I will I will like admit that's a lie uh, it doesn't keep you warm up to 32 degrees but if you layer it then it will keep you warm and it's just a nice jacket to have that that'll keep you warm and it's thin too plus it's black so it matches with everything so this is something that I've been loving And then the next coat isn't really a coat, but I got it for my birthday from my friend Betty and Karen. My friends, Betty and Karen. So, it's just this, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, the kimono material, you know, like, the kimono style of it, too. But it's just a blazer. It's from Charlotte Russe, and it's pretty long, too, if you guys can see it. So, I have been liking layering this with different uh, sweaters, like the one I'm wearing now, just because it adds a little bit of warmth but not too much but it's so like decorative and thin that you can layer it on top of warmer sweaters like this one and yeah so I've been really really loving this like it's it's definitely a statement piece in my closet now and it has pockets practical so the next piece of clothing that I have is this little 
jean corduroy skirt from Forever 21 and it's just a basic basic little skirt but um, I really like layering this also with like thick tights if you wear thick tights underneath and then long boots or even just long boots without thick tights and it keeps you pretty warm as long as like you don't have too much naked skin showing so I really like this one and it's very stretchy too so you won't feel like you're like dying in it and it has pockets so yeah it's been one that I've been wearing a lot that I'll probably wear today too so okay so the last thing that's kind of like clothing I guess is this scarf and I've had this scarf for a really really long time so I don't know if you'll be able to find anything like this one but this is from Charlotte Russe I bought it a few years ago and it's just like a blanket scarf but this is just like to give you guys an idea like blanket scarves are so nice for the winter just because they're so big and like if you're not walking around in them like around campus like wearing them as a scarf then you can wear it as like a little blanket demonstrate for you guys without getting it on fire with the candle <laughs> see that's like a blanket too so I really really like this one <sighs> the struggle so my next thing is a blanket and I actually have no idea where I got this blanket because it was a gift from somebody so I have no idea where they bought it but it's the brand Canon and it's just like this blanket that's like fuzzy on this side but then on the inside it's also fuzzy but not that type of material and this blanket keeps me so so warm during the winter and I think it's just essential for you to have a nice favorite blanket for the winter season because or else what are you gonna have to like cuddle up with with your candles and your book or your coffee or watching a movie you know you have to have a nice blanket that you love so I love this one okay so now moving on to like accessories uh, this is a little backpack that I bought at Target I believe it was $20 and I think that these little backpacks have gotten so in and I've been really really enjoying the little trend just because they're so cute and so practical like you know how sometimes you get so tired of carrying like your shoulder bag like on a specific shoulder and it just like starts hurting well these little backpacks are good because it puts like the weight on both of your shoulders so they're not hurting as much or you just don't even feel it at all and I think that you like they're big enough that you can fit stuff in there I have a ton of receipts and junk in here right now but they're like big enough so that you can fit all your stuff in here and then they also have like enough pockets you know it's they're practical so I've really really been liking this one I also have this cute little red purse that I actually bought well I actually was a gift so but yeah it's I think it's called the wow now and I just been really liking this purse specifically because it's such a bright color and a lot of times for the winter like I'm wearing a lot of black and a lot of like neutral colors so a color like this will make, help like make my whole outfit kind of pop so I'll definitely leave like similar ones linked down below but I had been looking for a red purse so I was so happy that I got one for my birthday so yeah last but not least we are going to conclude with some of my couple of my favorite books. So the first one is one that I've been reading in class and I know that books in class usually tend to be like bleh. but this one has been really really nice to read so this one is called Love Medicine and it's by Louise Erdrich. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she is a Native American author and the book basically follows like they're like little short stories of fictional characters but they're based off of her real life and they're it's like the stories and the way that she writes is just so like it's so entertaining you'd think that a book that you get assigned in class like isn't entertaining at all but the this one has been really enjoyable for me to read so I definitely recommend it especially since it's told from like a Native American perspective and usually we don't get that perspective in other books that we read so totally recommend this one and then I have this poem book by Raina Biddy and it's called I Love My Love and basically it has different little poems in there talking about love but she I think had like a, some sort of experience that we all can experience at some point in our lives like heartbreak or loving too much, loving too little and these poems just I feel like when you're reading them you're like oh my gosh like why didn't I think about writing this all down like it's exactly what you've been feeling or what you feel so totally recommend this one too 
Alrighty, unicorns, so that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm going to be trying to do these maybe like once every season, but if I just find that I have an overwhelming amount of favorites that I want to talk to you guys about, then I'll talk to you guys about it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, Subscribe if you want to, turn on your notifications to when you subscribe so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Just like, oh my gosh. What was that? Why did you have to laugh?